All right, this is second grade module seven, lesson 21. And in this lesson, students are going to be uh, learning about number lines and the idea of how to recognize the parts of a number line, the beginning uh, intervals, uh, I mean, the, perhaps a, a beginning value, an ending value, what are, what's the value of each of the intervals in that number line, just all the ideas of a uh, classic number line that adults have come to assume and understand, uh, but we're gonna really make these um, uh, hit home for our students in this lesson. So let's get started. So here we are being asked to find the value of the point right here on each uh, part of the meter strip. So in this case we're being asked to find A and for each number line one unit is the distance from one hash mark to the next. So this one unit, one unit, one unit, one unit, one unit, one unit. And the idea is we need to figure out if going from this hash mark all the way to this hash mark is uh, a distance from 10 centimeters to 40 centimeters, so that's a distance of 30 centimeters, we need to figure out how much does each unit equal. And we know they're always going to be the same jump. So if we for example, if we say going from here to here is 2, that would make this 12, and then this would make this 14, and that would make that 16, and then this would be 18, and then this would be, oops, 20, and then this would be, oops, 22. So that doesn't work, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. That doesn't work because we wanted the ending to be 40, but we, we reached the end and we're only at 22. So let's try by tens. So we might say 10, and let's go up, and so that's 20, and let's go up by 10, so that makes this 30, and then up by 10, that makes this 40. Oops, well that's definitely not right because we're at 40 here, but we wanted 40 to be all the way over here. So going up by tens is not the right one. So let's see. Going up by twos was too small. Going up by tens was too big. So let's try going up by fives. So we're going to say <clears throat> going up by five makes this 15, and up by five makes this 20. Up by five makes this 25, and then 30 and then 35, and then 40. Woohoo! Ding, 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 ding. So it is going up by fives each time. And so each unit has a length of five centimeters because that's what we're doing. We go up by five and we get 15. And we go up by five, that gave us 20. So each unit has a, a length of five centimeters. And A is located at 25 centimeters. And there we go. And how did we do that? We did a little bit of guessing and checking. Parents and teachers, yes, we could have used division to figure that out, but this is second grade and we are not interested in division at this point. Guess and check is perfectly fine. Now here we are explicitly told that each hash mark represents five more on the number line. So each hash mark is five bigger than the previous. So if we start at 400 right here, and I don't know, 400 units, 400 centimeters, 400 feet, 400 something. And then if we go up one hash mark, that makes this 405. And then if we go another hash mark, that makes this 410. And then if we go another hash mark, that makes it 415. And then another hash mark makes it 420. So what is the dist difference between D and E? What is the difference between D and E? And I, you notice I almost said distance. And really, difference and distance, very similar, isn't it? So what's the distance or the difference between D and E? And we can see going from 410 to 420, the difference is 10. So D is 410 and E is 420. 410, 420. 
And again, we are told here each hash mark represents 10 on the 10 more on the number line. So we've got G way down here, and then we've got a 650 right here. So we're told each line represents 10 more on the previous on the on the number line, but that's compared to the previous number. So if this is 650 going backwards this right here, it's not going to be 660. It's actually going to be 640. Because when we say each hash mark represents 10 more on the number line, we're always traveling from left to right. So 640 plus 10 gives us 650. That's an important thing for our students to recognize. I've seen a lot of students create some curious number lines where it's completely arbitrary in their mind whether they go left to right or right to left. And we need, in this case, students to understand that we are definitely going from left to right. That makes this 630, 620, 610, 600. Ooh, if we go backwards 10 more, what are we going to be? It's going to be 590. So that's a tricky one right there because we're crossing over the hundreds, the century. So what is the difference between the two endpoints? So going from 590 all the way to 650. Well, there's a variety of ways we could get that. One way that we could do it is we could say, well, start here and count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So one way is to say it's 60 and count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Another way we could do it is say, well, from here, 650 to 600, that's 50 plus 10 more gives us 60. So this is a good number talk, parents and teachers, to allow your students all the, to describe all the different ways that they know the distance from here to here is 60. Now, what's the value of G? The value of G is 590. And that wraps up second grade, module seven, lesson 21, identifying unknown, unknown numbers on a number line and really paying attention to the reference points and the hash marks and all that sort of stuff.